everyone. Can I hear? Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, this session is step by step. Uh, we uh, what should we do for the kernel ecosystem, right? Okay. And the main contents of this session is a uh, proposal for keeping the ecosystem around the uh, LTS kernel sub, uh, sustainable. <laughs> So let's get started. I'd like to address myself quickly. I belong to the, uh, sorry, I'm Hirotaka Motai. I work uh, for uh, 20 years of experiments of embedded Linux and uh, real-time OS. So I, I work as a project leader in my uh, in individual companies. So I'm, I'm also, uh, our uh, civil infrastructure, sorry, <laughs> civil infrastructure platform project. It's a Linux Foundation project, uh, and I'm a member of it. So and I'm also work as a OSPO staff in my company, and I belong to the EM Linux service department uh, teams in my company. So my team uh, has a de uh, developers of the Linux kernel and distro for own embedded Linux. So we also have a developers who apply uh, Linux to uh, many Japanese companies' products. So, so anyway, so here is an agenda of this session. Uh, the announcement of that the kernel LTS town We'll back to you about two years. I will share the background on this for us three. The second is uh, the, uh, I saw, I'm sorry. Uh, this was a shocking announcement to embedded Linux developers, of course, including me, especially in Japan. I set up a study, uh, secondly, the topics of a uh, study group I set up uh, with in, in-house kernel developers working for Japanese companies. So I, I will give an overview of the discussion. And finally, I'd like to uh, encourage as a in-house kernel developers and general users to do what we can do as a first step for the kernel community. So maybe all attendees uh, using Linux right? Right? <laughs> right? Okay. What version of the Linux kernel are you using? Okay. So have you seen this web page, right? It's a very famous page. <laughs> have you read this web page, right? So, uh, information about the Linux kernel is available on this kernel org website. Uh, as a reminder, I would like to pick up some the, of the details with, uh, together. Uh, the first is the main line. Uh, this is a tree maintained by Linux. You know, everyone know the main the main kernel developers. Uh, many features are developed, developed and merged into this tree. New kernels are released every nine or 10 weeks. The next is uh, stable. After a main kernel, re, uh, kernel is released, it is maintained as stable until the next mainline kernel is released. Any bugs, uh, any bugs fixed for a stable kernel are bug ported from the main line tree and applied by a designated stable kernel maintainer. Okay. And finally, long term. Can you read it? There are uh, usually uh, several long-term maintenance kernel, uh, long-term maintenance kernel release to provide uh, for the purpose of bug ported, bug fixes, bug fix, sorry, bug fixes. 
for older kernel tree. Only important bugfixes are applied to such kernel and they don't usually see very frequent releases, especially for old trees. So, uh, following practice, uh, the uh, last kernel version of the year is chosen as a uh, long term. After several years of maintenance, the old long term tree is end of life. So by the way, what is a mean projected? Can you, can you see the here? Projected end of life. What is mean? The answer is found in the FAQ on the same web page. So here is a uh, quoted from website. Uh, many of the uh, many of you have read the, uh, ha, sorry, how many, how many people have you read it? Please raise your hand. Oh, no one. Really? So I direct you to read it. So, yeah. Why are some long term versions supported longer than others? The projected end of yeah, EOL they are uh, not set uh, in the stone, uh, sorry, in stones, uh, in store, so, uh, in stone, sorry. Each new long-term kernel usually starts with only a uh, two years projected AOL. That can be extended further if there is enough interest in from the industry at large to help support it for a long period of time. Uh, that's maybe the result. Uh, 4.19 and 4.4 have been supported for about six years. But what about the latest long-term kernels? It's shrinked and two, uh, two years it's set as a projected EOL. Do you know what happened? So this is announced in the session, the kernel report from Jonathan Corbett, presentation at Open Source Summit Europe 2023, it's last year. Uh, uh, so three, three quoted texts here. The conclusion, there is really no point in main, maintaining them for so long, uh, for so long because people are not using them for six years. Go back to a world where the LTS kernels are maintained for about two years. Simply to simply be expected to update it, a newer kernel that is safe to do it. So, uh, the graph on the right side on slide was quoted from Wikipedia. The X axis shows the year, and uh, the Y axis shows the kernel versions, and the top is uh, newer. The length of the bar shows the maintain term, kernel maintain term of each kernels. Look, look, uh, of it, so we can clearly notice that the uh, maintain term has been shortened, which used to be roughly six years fr from 4.4 to 5.15. So in fact, the LTS kernel term is returning to the two years, roughly. What was the uh, specific background? So this is a, a session challenge around long-term kernel maintenance presentation at Open Source Summit Japan last year. The text on the slide is quoted, so I I like to read it. Uh, the kernel is still first involving the systems and the. Uh, architecture within the kernel are uh, changing rapidly. New features, new ways, which also uh, complicated 
backport. Very, very limited resources. May, many of community members are not paid to work for the good of, uh, of the community. So I have noticed that the um, maintenance of LTS is more difficult than it used to be. Uh, I wondered what we could do to help and decided to organize uh, study groups in Japan. So it's a uh, background. So second topic is a uh, summary of uh, Linux kernel LTS study groups in Japan. I'd like to introduce it. Yeah. Uh, firstly, I would like to explain the motivation of the study group. So we decided at the goal. So the goal of the study group is uh, what can we do in uh, response to the announcement that uh, Linux kernel LTS will be two years. I heard that uh, there is a gap between the community and the users. So I'm I'm an I'm an engineer. I, I, as I mentioned, of uh, Linux for embedded systems. So I ask I asked my uh, attendees, and the, they said, uh, "I want to uh, participate and discuss." I thought the community was uh, exhausted to maintain. So we had been discussing what the community can do to be more sustainable. So uh, people uh, on, the, on the right, on, uh, sorry, uh, people on the right, on the right, works as a uh, company uh, who uh, who are building products using the LTS kernel. And people on the left side uh, work for the community who maintain the Linux kernel. So they are all working in their own roles. So I decided to start the discussion with um, what uh, we can do in common. What is a common area? What is a common issue with us? So the, our study group started with a set of rules. Uh, the first is the three no. No commitment, no obligation, no, and no confidential. So that means the attendees are not required to make a slide. So just uh, just attend is available. It's okay. So second, if you say um, I'll do it, and uh, after next uh, at next uh, meeting he he can't, but uh, he can't keep it. Uh, no one will blame you. So. It's, uh, third is uh, don't disclose confidential uh, corporate information. Uh, the reason of these rules is that uh, I want to uh, I want many people to attend and uh, feel free to join the discussion. So, uh, of course, we asked them uh, attended to keep untrust policy and and. Uh, I, we adopted the Chatham House rule. Uh, I guess that uh, there are uh, something that, that difficult to say in the development on, of their own companies. Uh, I felt uh, it was uh, necessary to openly discuss uh, their issues to uh, make uh, LTS programs clear. So the 
study group meeting was held on Friday at the end of the month. So we made it available for both on-site and remotely. So that uh, more people could part, uh, attend and uh, have a good discussion. So started from April this year and hold six times meeting. Each time there are about 10 to 20 attendees. Thank you for attending. To, to attend uh, the Linux LTS kernel is very important for their business. All members discussed seriously, uh, but no one found a uh, breakthrough solution. It means a silver bullet that was easy to everyone to do for uh, keep the community ec ecosystem. So here is a uh, tema from attendees, study tema from attendees. So one tema is uh, about uh, kernel testing. Uh, so validation performance check, that means make, the, make sure that system uh, or product works well and meets the requirement standards. It is important to check it, uh, check if it's performed as expected. So next is a compa uh, sorry, compatibility check. Uh, it's a test to see it if, uh, it if different kernel versions work as same as on, the, on their product with that programs. <laughs> so next is uh, testing costs. Uh, it means uh, time wasting. So this refers to the time to time and money, money. Uh, spend on testing on uh, products. Uh, if tests take too long or it's not done uh, properly, uh, it can waste resources also. It's important to find a balance uh, between, through, uh, through the, uh, uh, between the, sorry, testing and eff efficiently. <laughs> efficiency, sorry. Uh, uh, publication of uh, test results also uh, topics. Uh, this means that sharing the uh, result of test. So, oh, I'm sorry. With community, uh, share uh, share the result with community. It's important to explain how the tests were done, what the t the results are and where people can find this information. Uh, people mean the committee members, uh, community persons. And response time is uh, how quickly ex expected. Uh, the results are uh, uh, shared after testing. So validation scope is also a uh, topic and a lot of, and kernel CI is also uh, interesting topics. So the next uh, tema is LTS terms. Two years, uh, uh, so some, some guys said that two years, uh, uh, for can say, two, uh, deal with uh, the terms, so he said uh, two years so for SOC development. This is the time uh, spent uh, create the Linux kernel on uh, new SOC chips. So and another next two years for uh, adapting product, it means a product department time. So after the SOC is ready, the next uh, two years, uh, for development their actual product. So, uh, so final, it's final two years for maintenance. Uh, once uh, product is uh, released, the last two years uh, for maintenance he wants. 
So a lot of attendees uh, uh, interested in addressing vulnerabilities. So it's important to keep systems safe and uh, secure. And uh, another member uh, said the fragmentation by SOC vendors corner. And that means the uh, situation where the uh, different system on different SOC vendors uh, created their own versions of another kernel. So a lot of kernel is uh, for the, a lot of various uh, their product. And I mean, another topic is related uh, how to share the sense of the uh, issues. So it means uh, increasing people who understand it internally and externally. Uh, so he worry about finding a way to have more people understanding the situation, the problem of the challenges to and uh, uh, to the keep ecosystem. So by increasing uh, the number of people who are understanding the issues. Yeah. So anyway, Rock also uh, a lot of the uh, topics uh, from the attendees. So I'd like to uh, some topics. Uh, I'd like to explain some topics on the next slide. So it's a, some issue from in-house developers. Uh, someone said, uh, what, your, what is a, uh, my issue related with it is kernel? So one is a CB tracking, and next is a upstream contribution. It's important, I think, but uh, how to do it in, uh, as my role. So next is uh, how to uh, rope, rope in more like-minded folks. He uh, he worked on as alone. So and upgrading cycle is uh, also his uh, issues. So another person said uh, it's okay um, because the BSV vendor provides uh, own kernel. So. He seemed to uh, want to develop the kernel uh, on his uh, product, but he want to he he was realized that uh, he can only re rely on the BSV vendors because a uh, lot of changes are included. Uh, so it means uh, changes are large for SOC department uh, development. So the, another another person said, uh, "My work is hard work. My work is a uh, kernel branch management for our various products, not only new product but also uh, latest old product." So another, the other one said, "Each uh, each son to show to me honestly to uh, adapt uh, at this kernel product uh, to the product." So the person who said it's okay because uh, BSP vendor provides the uh, uh, Linux kernel. So I asked, I asked for more detail. This is uh, what happens. So he had uh, told to contact the vendor, uh, BSP vendors, and we. But answer is. Uh, not to expect it him. Uh, so we already uh, pro provide 5.15 kernel. Uh, is it the latest LTS, 6.6? Mm, I have no plans. Everything works on 5.5 kernel. So BSP vendors, um, I'm, it's not all, but that person from uh, BSV vendor said that's all. So vendor tree is LTS based, but a little bit older. 
in some case. Uh, Lotto patches is included in Vendor LTS3. And the patches, a bunch of patches is hard to port to new kernel uh, without uh, vendor's help. So vendor customer services to maintain kernel as a uh, business services for uh, X years, uh, it sounds good. I'm not sure. So he he uh, he have a lot. He it's a uh, detail of his issue. So next is a person who said, uh, "It's my work. Uh, it's branch management." So I asked the more details. Uh, here is uh, uh, what happened of, in, of, uh, around him. So he works with his team members. Uh, his, team, his team used the uh, LTS kernel for uh, his, uh, his product. And the team also maintains the uh, LTS uh, branches internally. 5.15, 4.19, 4.9, 4 4.4. 4 .4. The oldest old uh, branch is 2. Point something. Amazing. 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 <laughs> Too old. So he, he also do, uh, put the parties when new LTS is uh, available. And he also applies CP parties to all branches. Oh, of course, uh, he, he focuses on uh, the area. Uh, in, in, it means the features he used. Uh, because uh, why, why are you, are you maintaining the lot of various product, various branches? Do you, do, do you merge it? Uh, more uh, major to two or three branches. I asked. Uh, he said because our customer uh, also use it. I, it means that old branch is already is now working there on their products. Oh. So some some guys said uh, barrier to port to the new kernels. Of course, uh, the new kernel has uh, new features, a uh, bunch of changes. Uh, but he said uh, it is a problem with some hardware uh, or firmware, uh, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, some hardware or firmware specification is not opened completely. He cannot, he couldn't test uh, or, I mean, uh, it means that he couldn't debugging it when something wrong uh, occurs. In other case, some vendors provide uh, pro propriety uh, loadable kernel module as a binary. So he can't uh, test it uh, correctly, uh, he said. So next is an uh, updated requirement as a culture. Uh, so updating is uh, important, he know, but uh, he, some, uh, he, he said that changing the internal culture is the highest uh, challenge. It's so difficult, said, he said. So mobile has a uh, ability to update it regularly, you know, smartphone, uh, your smartphone sometimes mention you uh, need to update, right? And the users are aware of it, yeah, right? In vehicle system has a ability to update it monthly or quarterly or annual or some, I'm not sure the, but that some M users are aware as well. But some industrial controller has no ability to update and uh, some end users are uh, not aware, unfortunately, now. So I know and Shiara is coming, so updated requirements might be uh, 
required on their uh, product. Uh, anyway, so I'd like to introduce uh, related session uh, with CRA. So uh, next session of today uh, from uh, two, uh, our, our, our member of CIP uh, has a presentation related to CRA, Cyber Registration Act. If you want to interest, if you have an interest in it, please don't miss it. So anyway, <laughs> to update regularly, uh, need to uh, test regularly as well. Um, but he said not possible because a lot of uh, th they need a lot of time and a lot of uh, person and a lot he need to get a budget to do it so also. So another one, another person said uh, counter testing. Uh, so he was sorry skeptical about test feedback to the community. Uh, the result feedback is good to the community, but the test result on our product board is really good. So uh, I mean, the, it's it's really beneficial as well. So he said there are many cases, and so sometimes bug may not be reproducible, and uh, so it's a, a product department, so uh, late list report uh, acceptable to the community because the product testing is time consum uh, time wasting. And Test cases and the test program is uh, confidential information he can't open. And how much information should or can we uh, report with? So around here, it's, uh, it's okay or not. So uh, the other person advised and comment, uh, we don't know the what we should do until we, co we need uh, communication, we need to communicate with the uh, maintainers. But how do we communicate with them? So a lot of Japanese uh, developers uh, don't know, uh, do not uh, wait to uh, community, uh, touch the community. <laughs> So another kind of testing topics. Uh, so if find uh, if we find a uh, failure in the stable, so upstream first to fix it. I know we know we so we also uh, as well we also uh, need to test upstream as well. So but that. Failure, that failure seems not in mainline kernel because it's not reproducible. Um, but upstream testing is, as, not, as I once said, upstream testing is my cup of tea out of scope in product department, unfortunately. So some, some people were worried about the performance requirements from the community do, not much the one needed to for the, our products. Also, so another people uh, were concerned because the testing is uh, for the whole system, not just for the kernel. It's not kernel, spe not kernel specific. And they were unsure if it would be helpful or not. So, and there are questions about how much the community check checks for compatibility, and what can uh, what can do the uh, to sorry what can do to help with that. Uh, oh, really? So, but go. I have no time to show you. And I, I'd like to quickly 
uh, get back to the first situation from the session of Open Source Summit Japan from such as regimes. So difficult to, for them to get its uh, real world testing and uh, write the thing we do in practi practice in company. So I think it's a good efficient, it's a good rest, uh, back forth to of, uh, uh, testing on their product. And he, he also mentioned uh, upgrade the next one. So I'm sure you, I'm sure share some ideas came up from the study groups and some ideas I have. I hope the contents will help you uh, take action bound for uh, stream first. Uh, because it's a it's it's a session for the beginners. So, uh, if the LTS kernel is important to you, start from uh, what, how about start from the by watching this session to understand what is happening now under long term maintenance, uh, knowing uh, how many patches have been merged into the new kernels and how many patches are have been. Uh, port it to LTS kernel will take you a uh, start point to uh, make sure how hard it is. Then, if you will feel like doing something to give back to the community, please start uh, figure out what you can do to help. So let's get to kernel testing. Uh, let's get uh, to kernel testing, uh, sorry. Everyone tests Linux, maybe, for your product. Uh, there are test suites for the kernel. Uh, here is a test suite kernel for, uh, so let's run on then on your product. And, uh, and some tools are called uh, uh, KCI Dev. Uh, that all allow you to test before sending parties. So it's uh, my coworker uh, de developed. My, uh, so coworker Alice will talk on uh, kernel CI and related tools in more details in her session. Please, uh, if you want, if you have an interest in, don't miss it. So. Where am I? Here. So, so mainline kernel uh, may or may not have a test. Uh, please, please add uh, your test. And uh, it's important to test in sync with the kernel community releases. And if uh, it stopped working when you test a new kernel, Try uh, narrowing it down gradually with uh, with uh, bisect. Uh, if you don't know the uh, reason why your product don't work well, but you have uh, identif identif you have identified the commit, you can say this commit broke my workload. Uh, can you help me to the community? It would be a uh, contribution uh, just to tell them. I think so. So needless to say it, uh, if you find a bug in the LTS kernel and that has already been uh, fixed in mainline, please backport it to the LTS kernel. So interaction uh, available on the kernel org website. So next is try to upgrade. Uh, this includes actually don't uh, doing the upgrade, but it also means uh, uh, creating the culture of regularly upgrading by repeating the process in your company. Uh, as you know, if you uh, upgrade 
uh, Linux everywhere. The delta is changing, it's so small, okay. So, so if you try to upgrade and find the problem in your, on your hardware, please report it to uh, mailing list as well. So I think it's difficult to continue doing the, this alone. If you want to do it together, if you want to get a more member, a more friends to do together, uh, please consider to join CIP, SLTS working groups. Uh, so uh, next is, uh, uh, before you go to pick a lunch, please stop by our uh, booth to talk with us. So change your mindset is also difficult, uh, little by little. Don't wait for the LTS kernel release. Please take action. So uh, trying to change the culture of your company so that you can take action for kernel uh, ecosystem. So it's uh, important to get a uh, friend to do uh, together. It's hard to do it alone. So, and some Japanese developers are already active. Please uh, be in touch with us. So it's a uh, conclusion. So I was uh, it was announced that the uh, Linux long term will be uh, roughly two years. Issues shared uh, at the Linux LTS kernel study groups in Japan we are uh, conducting uh, in Japan were introduced. Uh, from the issue we have uh, heard about in product development, we had come up with a, a plan to actually uh, contribute to the community. We uh, proposed uh, this session to let many users, uh, LTS users, uh, who are con currently using the LTS kernel uh, without n knowing what the current situation of the kernel de development is. Uh, knowing the, I want to know the, know the reality. I introduced ideas, uh, some ideas that uh, came out from the study groups. Uh, that uh, product department can do, do to keep the community uh, alive. It means it mean sustainable. So what are some of your ideas? Do you have any ideas? I'd like to be happy to hear, uh, share, share them openly. And that's all my session. Questions or some good idea to keep the account eco ecosystem. Yes, please. So please use the mic to record the... Uh, hello, so I'm uh, Vincent Mayol, uh, work at Woven by Toyota. I am also maintainer of uh, Linux CAN subsystem. Thank you very much. Uh, so from my presentation, I think one of the root cause of a vendor which have uh, of three uh, patches. Uh, I wanted to ask your opinion about, uh, like, do you think that this is compliant to the GPL2? So uh, speaking of this, isn't that also like uh, a GPL2 variation to have an of three patch uh, and just maintain it by your own? At the end, it's still something you release. So that's my question. I, I can, I like to repeat your question. Yeah, legally speaking. So kernel is GPL, GPL v2. V2, yeah, right. Yes, so. They, they, they need to open the source code of the, of the different other Apaches. Yes. They, they are applied on their products, right? Yes. So I, I've heard, uh, as, I, as, I, as I know, as far as I know, he he also uh, opened their uh, parties on their uh, website. 
and they are one of their companies for the uh, customer registered on the their website. So you can get the purchase if you if if you buy the their product. <laughs> But are you interested in the parties old for old tree or country? Uh, I'm, I'm already purpose. busy with many uh, projects, but uh, yeah, overall uh, upstream development, I think, is the best solution uh, to this problem. So instead of having patches on on website, if patches go to mailing list for integration, I think that's oh, better. I see. You you spend you. You try, you try to spend the patches to the public community. The, or yeah, I think like it's that. always better. So oh, the Linux kernel does not care about internal API. So as maintainer, we often break internal API. And we don't care about off three patches of what they use. Only the public API is maintained. Oh, I I thank you. Uh, stable, I mean, not uh, both are maintained, but only the user API is, is uh, stable, internal API has no stability. I see, I see, thank you. Okay, <clears throat> just a quick observation. I know we're out of time, uh, but um, <clears throat> it seems like there are people already doing the work of backporting patches related to CVEs onto older kernels. So, uh, your real issue is that that work is not being shared in a way that is usable by other trees. And so, and the reason it's not being able to be shared in other trees is because you have these vendor kernels and you have, there are deviations that are, that are throughout the industry, right? So maybe kind of piggybacking on the last comment, maybe there's some way to share those patch backports that is non-traditional instead of trying to get like the normal normal approach that I thought we would do is get another maintainer to pick up the slack and do the same thing that Greg and Sasha are doing but I don't think that's going to work uh, so I think you need to come up with some way that that once someone has already done a backport to like a 4x kernel or even a 3x or a 2x kernel uh, those patches are made available publicly, not just by depositing them on a compliance open source website somewhere, but like in, I don't know, some in an email list or somewhere else, and it's done in an automated fashion, so then people can pick those up and apply them to their own vendor trees more easily. That would be my suggestion. So, but something to think good, about. Good addition to me. So. Anyone else? So it's time to the end of the session. Thank you for attending. It's a <laughs> uh,